Welcome everyone to the WP iMenu Marketer Complete Instant Install. Okay, this is a special, it's a way of installing the iMenu uh, Marketer system on a new uh, WordPress site uh, with, with basically a few clicks. I'll show you how it's done. Okay, first of all, you need to decide where you're going to install it. Uh, in this case, I'm going to create a subdomain. So if you're just going to use it for a menu for a business, uh, it goes, it, it's probably best to go in a subdomain called menu dot and your website name. Uh, but if you're going to use it for the uh, main website uh, at the same time, which is not a bad idea, uh, then you would install it on the actual root of the domain. So right now I'm going to create a subdomain, I'm in cPanel, and I'm going to create a subdomain called menu. So it's menu.imenumarketed.com. I'll click in here, it shows you, and create. Perfect. So now I've got the subdomain, imenumarketed.com. Uh, so the next thing to do is to install WordPress on imenumarketer.com. Now, if uh, you're using Auto SSL, uh, you'll need to update your Auto SSL so that the subdomain uh, can be HTTPS. Uh, the way to do that is to go into your um, WHM, or if you don't have WHM, you just have cPanel, you're going to need to uh, check with your hosting provider. Uh, but I'll show you how it's done if you do have uh, WHM. Literally just put uh, SSL, you'll find uh, here, manage also SSL. And then click run auto SSL for all users. That's done it, that's all you need to do. So now let's come back to the uh, subdomain we've created. We'll go back to cPanel and we're going to come down to uh, software to create WordPress manager by Softaculous or here Softaculous Apps Installer, and you can click this one instead, which I'll do. So we'll click WordPress, and then Install. Now you'll see you can then select where you're going to install it. So I'm going to install it in menu.imenumarketer.com. Be careful here because it will install it in a directory called WP, which you don't want. I just want it in the main directory. Uh, then you will uh, give the site a name, whatever the business name is. So I'll put uh, uh, restaurant menu, uh, whatever the restaurant name is. I'll just put my restaurant name menu. Uh, description you can put in, de oh, you can always change this later on. In fact, it really doesn't matter at this point because we're going to write over it. So. Uh, I can leave that. <laughs> then you're going to create uh, a username and uh, an admin password, uh, which I shall do. Uh, it won't matter again because we're going to overwrite it very, very soon. So uh, there we go. Now we don't want bold grid. Let's get rid of that. Uh, we don't need to worry about these because we're going to overwrite it. Uh, and we don't really need to send the installation anywhere because, as I say, it's all going to be overwritten very quickly. So let's click the install button. It's going to be installed. WordPress will be installed at uh, menu.imenumarketer.com. Okay, so we click install. And there you can see it's installed. We can go straight to it. Click that button. And it's logged us in. Let me raise this a little bit so you can see the, uh, um, URL, uh, yeah, the URL there. Okay, so at this point, uh, what we're going to do is uh, install the all-in-one WP migration plugin. So we go to plugins, um, and we've got add plugins. Um, let's put in here, uh, all-in-one. And here it is, all in one WP migration. This is the one that you want. Okay, so we're going to install that, activate it, 
and that's done. Okay, so then we come down to the all-in-one WP migration in the left-hand uh, sidebar here. Uh, click import. Now, you notice here it says on my panel we've got a maximum file size of 64 megabits. So uh, we're not going to be up there able to upload a uh, file larger than 64 megabits. Now, um, I'm going to show you what to do uh, to increase that. Uh, it does tell you here what to, what to do, so I'll click and show you. Right, so there's several ways that you can do it. You can go via the ht.ht access file or the w. So we're going to uh, take this code here, this little snippet of code here, and we're going to come to the .ht access file. Uh, I'll just show you how I came here. Uh, let's come here. Now, if it's not showing, just come here, click settings, and click show hidden files. Um, and we'll right click it and edit. And then just in here, you'll paste in that code. Click save changes. And let's refresh this page. And there you can see it says 128 megabits now. So we can upload a file 128 megabits. So let's find the file. It will, you'll have downloaded it to your uh, computer. Uh, let me find it for you here. Um, here we go. Now, all you're going to do is drag the file like so. And that will be that. Depending upon your internet speed, take a, a minute or so. This one literally took 30, not even 30 seconds. Okay, now it's asking you it's going to overwrite everything. Of course, there was nothing there anyway so we're going to click proceed but you wouldn't want to overwrite an existing website remember this is creating a brand new imenu uh, website that will be in a subdirectory uh, don't use this method if you've already got a website because it will overwrite everything on that website so we click proceed okay and that's done so we're going to click finish and then we'll have to re-log in as you'll see there we go, it's asking us to re-log in. Now, uh, if you look in your documents, you'll have the um, login details. There'll be a username called admin, and you'll have a password there. I'm gonna pause while I get the password. Okay, and we just paste in the password and log in. And now you'll see the site is all there. Everything you need is there. Uh, all the plugins, the theme is installed, everything. 